So when you're building a SharePoint site, whether it's publishing or an internal intranet or whatever you might be, one of the things that you always have to worry about, obviously, is performance. So, well, how do we tell if we have some negative performance? Maybe because some of the assets we put on there, like images and links and JavaScript files and those kind of things. Well, what we need to do is do some kind of testing. Now, there's a lot of tools out there that you can use for this. Uh, the one I'm going to kind of use today is Firebug, one of the uh, tools that uh, I've used for a long time. It's actually a plug-in to, to Firefox, but you can also use the IE tools that uh, come built in and, and part of uh, Internet Explorer 9. There's, there's other uh, products like HTTP Watch, but basically the reason we use these tools is these tools are able to help us look at exactly kind of how things are loading onto a page and if there's something that's taking an, uh, an awful lot of time and something that we want to be worried about. So again I'm going to go back to uh, an example that I used earlier where I talked about the big images and we know for a fact that this has a really big image on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and load this page up and what you're going to find is as it loads up you're actually going to see all the different elements load up here on the page down in my fire bug there where I can kind of look at it from across the board and you'll see that I actually had all these different elements load up in there. This also kind of gives you an idea of all the different things that actually loads up on a page that can actually affect the performance of a SharePoint site. So you see everything from uh, graphics to um, different versions of pictures to uh, JavaScript files to cascading style sheets to all the different things that actually load up. But one of the things you see that's very apparent here is you see like here's our style sheet and you'll see that that entire thing took 134 milliseconds so about 1.3 seconds for that entire thing but one of the things you'll note right away is that here's that uh, image that we had there the big image on the paint and look at that that's actually taking 985 milliseconds and you can see that this actually gives you some really great there so you can see that it was actually waiting for almost 344 milliseconds and, and receiving for almost 641 so we would obviously note this see that this is a lot of image and we want to be able to do something about it in there so um, let's go ahead and look on to the good side and let's go ahead and run the same thing and let's see what we get here. So here you'll actually see we still get a rather sizable version 188 milliseconds but you'll see it's now 188 milliseconds versus over here where it was 985 milliseconds. So you see that actually makes a huge difference uh, in optimizing the images. But overall what we're really trying to show is that we're looking for things and we're using these tools to be able to actually be able to evaluate and be able to look at how different elements load on our page and maybe we need to go back and optimize an image or we need to go back and clean up the style sheet and shrink up the style sheet or or a lot of different things like that so this tool can really help you or tools very similar to it can really help you kind of look at these problems try and figure out exactly where your issue is in loading up a page and do something about it and even if your page loads fine remember again especially if you're dealing in scenarios where you have global users and you have all those people that uh, may have hard times, uh, even saving a few milliseconds is going to make a huge difference on somebody's download time.